I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I hope you're excited. Welcome to Crazy Blessed Worship. I'm Coley D, and why I'm so excited is I have some exclusive information for you guys, only for the Crazy Blessed Worship group. So stay with me because I've got some really cool stuff. It's just going to blow your mind. So, first things first, some of you guys have been with me for a while, some of you guys are newer to the group. I want to thank those of you who have just been hanging in there and been some just amazingly supportive people. I cannot tell you how grateful I am for this community. And uh, some of you know some of my why, some of you don't. I need to dial in on that to make sure you guys are kind of getting where I'm coming from with some of these things. So that being said, I am a ambassador for the mental health organization, Make It Okay. And basically I am a mental health and suicide and prevention awareness advocate. So, um, it's been an interesting couple of weeks in my neck of the woods. I had two people in the same day actually take their own lives. Um, didn't know each other, but again, they're like second family. Um, one of my best friends, um, basically her little brother and one of my, my husband's best friends, basically his little brother. And, uh, it's been kind of wild because we were very very close with not just our good friends but their whole families like we'd go to their houses and they wouldn't be home so we'd go hang out with their parents or with their siblings and uh i mean i met these guys when they were teenagers so it's been very shocking and um there's a lot of interesting woven and backstory i'll kind of get into in uh, some of the coming messages that i do i'm sure but it's been a lot to grapple with because um, basically my mom was a mental health specialist. She really helped me understand um, where people are coming from. So I've always been one of those people that I can get along with people that most people would walk away from even. Um, actually, I had one job that I got a really good promotion because I was the only person that would work with this specific guy. <laughs> so um, I just everybody's got their story guys you know so there's a lot of people that like judge people based on all sorts of things and we have to be really careful where we're coming from and always remember our heart place when we're talking to other people and when we're thinking of them and what they may be going through that we have no idea um so anyway it's been kind of a heavy last couple of weeks around here and uh, i actually have another family member that um, just last night was having, well, earlier in the day, was having a mental health crisis and crisis and asked to be driven to a facility and uh, just didn't feel safe with themselves. And uh, I'm not going to name names. That's not my business to do so. Um, I think confidentiality is really important. And all you guys know, I have a huge family. Um, but that being said, what frustrated me is that this person had to wait six hours in a waiting room. It is absolutely asinine that anybody would have to go through what this person went through and before even the six hour wait before they were seen, there was the figuring out of um, what the insurance company might cover and where to even get to go. There's so many things that are just not okay roadblocks when it comes to mental health issues. So that is just one of the big things for me is just driving home anything and everything that I can do to help the mental health issues. Um, it's just my heart, you guys. So you're going to be hearing more and more. Um, like there's a local organization that I absolutely love that you guys see me every time it's my birthday. I'm promoting, like, please donate to this organization. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of that as I put out more music, as I have some of you guys come on and do some of your own unique songs. Um, I would love to do that where I have, you know, the, there's a thing called tip jar and it's a little link and you can click on it and you can tip a musician or you can tip whatever venue is hosting them. There's all sorts of things you can use it for. I would like to see it go to this specific mental health organization. Um, I haven't even filled her in yet. I know she'll be excited, but something I am moving forward to doing. So, um, there's that, um, and then talking about some of the artists 
this is not about me, this crazy blessed worship thing. Okay, you guys know I told some of my, my God story. If you haven't, um, in the YouTube channel, go to playlists. If you click on the crazy blessed worship one, that is every single message that has ever been done. Um, I believe I've left most of them up. Some might be temporarily private because I'm coming back for cool things. Um, however, that talks a lot about um, kind of the backstory of where God came into creating this whole thing. Um, anyway, so as far as Crazy Bless Worship goes, as far as you guys are going to see me um, promoting Colidi more and more, um, it's not about me. And I want to make sure that I stress that. This is why I love having Crazy Bless Worship is, yes, I'm one worshiper. I have done a lot of schooling and have different things in my background, and I know I can help people in their goals. Um, in just worship and I know this also affects mental health everybody that's putting your songs out there and you're going after it you guys don't even know how much you can bless people just with what you're doing in your obedience and I love seeing so many obedient people in this group and I want to lift up and encourage everyone that is in and comes into this community and I love seeing that you guys are doing this for each other um, Long and short of it, this week I was excited to have our, our first official Music Monday post, even though I've been posting music stuff for a while on Mondays. Um, Eric Jameson Alexander has his new single out, Enter, and honestly guys, I want to see him get lifted up. And, and here's the thing, one thing you're going to notice on here, if you haven't already, is there's such a variety of music, um, Christian music, isn't just like one certain type of music and a lot of people seem to lose sight of that some people get hung up on it's got to be a hymn or or what is modern day ccm or then we've got christian core music you know what there's a gamut of it and i believe that god can use everything honestly if the devil can use music why in the world can't god right of course that is why the devil is trying to use music is because he knows it's powerful. You listen to some things in the way that it's influenced people. Like, I look back to what I listened to as a teenager, you guys. No wonder I spent so much time, like, kind of down in the dumps in a lot of... It was just spots in my life. And I actually... I'm like, man, that's catchy. And they might pop back in my head now. And I go back and I re-listen to some of these songs. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, I used to listen to that all the time. That's horrible. So, um, moving in. I have a lot of people, I know you've heard say over and over, worship is a weapon. We are helping fight for people to meet them where they're at. You look at our playlists, and our playlists are all based on an emotion or a circumstance. And people can click on any one of those playlists. And basically, it's a way for God to help meet them where they're at through music. It's an awesome connection, and I've had some amazing feedback. And uh, I'm just going to keep going with it. And what's cool is this community very very unique community of just amazing creative artists and you guys get to see unique songs in the playlist you're not going to necessarily hear on your typical christian radio station you're just not it's a lot of up and coming people that you know what they don't fit the mold and i'm okay with that you know why because god doesn't want his people in a, in the mold right we're not meant to be in a box we're all meant to be unique and if god is sharing messages with people in here i'm going to share that I'm creating an army of worship warriors. This is not just me. Every one of you guys I want to lift up. And I understand that not everybody is necessarily someone that's putting songs out. There's a lot of people that are just into worship here. And that is awesome because you have just so many crazy blessings come your way as I'm able to teach more in this group and bring more elements into it. So i got to keep going. I want to touch base on... What I was talking about with different people and uh, different kinds of songs that they put out there. Um, there is one man that I absolutely would say he is one of the best speakers that I have heard my whole entire life. And his name is Maddie Montgomery. Well, most people would not listen to him that call themselves Christian. And the reason is, is he puts out Christian metal. And uh, what's interesting to me is uh, I had no idea who Maddie was. And you guys know I have a thing for like the dollar sales and the $35 free shipping at christianbook.com. And uh, I ordered this book called Scary God. 
And it's fascinating. It's probably one of the best books that I've ever read. Um, Scary God, Maddie Montgomery's who wrote it. And I'd never heard of Maddie before, but because of the way he wrote and the way that it hit me, it's about the fear of the Lord. And uh, it just, I had to go look up Maddie and his background and I was actually really impressed with what he had out there. I'm like, you know what, I can get into this. It's metal music with scripture. And the way that this man preaches is holy fire. I'm telling you guys. So anyway, I speak fairly often in my church, and uh, I want to say a few weeks ago, I actually was able to talk a little bit about Scary God and Maddie Montgomery. So I shared part of my testimony and how I wish that the church taught the fear of the Lord more, and uh, kind of where all this came into. I'm not going to be able to get into it. Um, I think they have the link up to my speaking. If you're interested, um, just message me. I'll send it off to you guys. I'd be happy to, because it's... One of those things where when I was done speaking, there were people crying. And this is different for me because they'd set it up where I lead worship pretty much every single Sunday. I don't have a huge team to help back me up. So um, they had actually asked one lady. She's not able to do much regularly, but they'd asked her if she would do worship the day that I spoke so I could focus completely on my speaking. And... Uh, it was really neat because I had talked to her ahead of time. I said, can we do worship at the end of the service? Because I'm speaking on is going to tie directly into that. And she had agreed. And, um, you know, again, I'm used to observing people kind of while I'm leading worship. So as I'm speaking, I'm really intrigued because there's this one man that I absolutely love. Like, he is crazy spirit-led, like, it can be the middle of a worship set I'm doing. And between songs or in a prophetic moment, He'll just, whatever he says, and it is so perfect in its timing. And, like, there's times he's come into church, said a word, and left. <laughs> it's just, he is probably one of my favorite people just to be around. So anyway, as I'm speaking, I'm getting towards the end of it, I see him, and he's doing one of these numbers. He's got his arms raised high, and uh, I'm like, this is what people usually do in worship. But literally, I started realizing like, he's really receiving the message, and I'm, as I wrap up, I'm looking around, and there are people that were crying. <laughs> and it wasn't like I made people cry. You know? It wasn't that kind of scary God. But um, it was just like I had people look at me, and like that really touched me. And I had people like messaging me, there should have been a part two to this. We need to have a part two. Or I, I got texts, I had emails, I had one lady after the service. She hadn't been there in months, and she pulled me aside, and she's like, I had this dream some odd months ago, and uh, she's like, literally, what you said, I actually completely understand it now, and just, she talked to me for like an hour afterwards, and it was really interesting because I realized, like, there's really more to what I'm supposed to be doing out there. Like, I know, like, I speak regularly, it doesn't bother me, but... I'm starting to realize there's a lot woven into these messages that they're all coming together. It's like little puzzle pieces. And I realize there's some of these things I need to bring to you guys. One of those things I want to touch on is if you are someone that leads worship in here, or you know what, if you're not and you just love going to worship and your church does worship first thing pretty traditionally every single Sunday, consider having an end of the message worship set maybe your pastor would actually consider it. Because um, what was so cool is since I wasn't leading worship, when I was done with the message, um, and uh, basically this lady, she started doing the worship set, and it was really cool for me because I knew all the songs she was doing, and we hadn't discussed any of them, and they were all perfect timing, the perfect message type songs. And I realized, you know what? People aren't just watching me when it comes to leading worship, when I'm actually doing the singing and playing the music and all that stuff. I realized, you know what, I, I lead also when I'm following. And I've talked before about how some of the best leaders are the best followers, and it's always been in reference to him, following him and the direction he's laid out for your life. And I have not 
really done this before. Like, I've always kind of flowed, and I don't have a problem with raising hands. I know a lot of churches, like, people are really stuffy about that. And, you know, in some ways, like, that's the church culture. But anyway, part of what I was talking about is if you don't know, um, let's put it this way. I was talking about if somebody walked into your church and they were behind you and it was during the worship service, would they actually know that the people in the church are worshiping or would it just look like people singing to a screen? And I literally felt so compelled to get just down in worship. And I didn't care who was looking at me. And it was absolutely freeing. And I'm really lucky to have a church that is just absolutely supportive of just whatever I do. Because they have seen the way I talk. They have seen the way that I walk. They, they know me. And they very much know that I make absolutely sure I'm as plugged in as possible to what it is that God wants um, direction-wise for me to take, and I really strive to be obedient. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap up pretty soon here because I have the elephants upstairs in my house are not always the most patient waiting for mom. Um, and I want to get into that really cool, exclusive message that I have for you guys. Um, it's very important information. So, you guys know that... Um, a couple months ago, I joined Rick Pino of uh, Worship Coach and Adam Carpenter of Watershed Publishing Company. Excuse me, Watershed Music Group. It's a publishing company. Um, and basically, I'm in their inner circle. I am learning a whole ton of stuff right now. And um, I'm really moving forward with a lot of things. They are absolutely very helpful, very supportive, very, very, very knowledgeable. And um, they're basically helping me meet all the goals that I've been kind of chasing down. And honestly, I think it's extremely important to invest in whatever it is that God has put on your heart. And this is something that God has put on my heart to pursue. Um, so I'm, I'm working to actually get in the studio and start recording here in the next couple of weeks, for example. So I have a lot going on and I'm keeping up the best that I can in here. But Rick just dropped some very, very, very important information. The inner circle, um, it's not the price that, um, that I signed up with, but he's looking at it going up to about $25,000 is the price tag that he is looking on when he does that. Right now I'm in the beta group. And uh, because of that, I got in well under that. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't have been able to afford a $25,000 price tag. Um, but that being said, right now, he is opening up a few spots to his inner circle. And if you are interested in joining in that, he is willing to let people have priority if they know someone in the inner circle. So if you drop my name, I mean, Rick knows me, he knows, like, I'm trying to be that go-getter, and, um... And I've talked about this group and whatnot. And uh, if you want to consider being in Rick's, well, I should say if you want Rick to consider you being in his inner circle, talk to me. Um, what it comes down to, though, is this is not something that it just sounds fun and you join in, you have to work. And uh, it's literally everything laid out to you very generously. Everything's far exceeded the price tag that I paid. Again, it's not in the $25,000 range, but because I would be bringing in somebody that I know, um, Rick is considering what I joined for. So, um, I will have more information on that very soon as well, um, as far as getting like the application link and telling you what you need to do. Um, so, Stay in touch with me on that. Keep watching on here. Um, I'll be posting more as I know more. And the other thing is, so I'm in another inner circle that I have not told you guys about yet. So I've talked to you guys about the artist Manifest. His name is Chris Greenwood. Um, he had a 10x your fan base challenge a while back because one of the things that Rick and Adam were talking about was 
being able to, you know, promote your music. Well, I've spent a lot of time not growing my Facebook page because I didn't feel like I would be able to do a very good job keeping up with people. And I've come to realize, you know what, with the way things are and the systems I've started putting in place and uh, some of the people I met who are willing to help me keep up, um, I'm actually able to do a lot of that expanding. And uh, Chris Greenwood Manifest has a um, fan base university. That's something you can look into. But deeper than fan base university is he has opened up a personal inner circle. Right now I'm only one of four people in it. And you need to understand that he's a billboard artist and he has over a million listens a month on Spotify. So if you are really looking to take your message out there, your music, I mean guys, you know I want to boost that worship music, um, let me know. Because on, it's the 20th through the 24th, he is doing another 10 extra challenge. You can do it free for one hour every day, but I am telling you, I did it myself and I'll, I'll admit I almost didn't, but I literally felt this nudge like, no, you need to do this. I signed up and I did the VIP, which is for an hour before the free general coaching. He will answer all of your questions. So if you get on the VIP, it's literally, it's $10 a day, it's $50 for the week. It is dirt cheap for him to do it but he literally has a heart for helping artists so that being said i want you guys to join me the 20th through the 24th and if you do because i'm going to do it again when you do your introduction video tell him that i sent you um because if chris chooses to talk about his inner circle at the end of that first is going to be the vip that get to hear about it and would get first dibs in it because he he never does more than 10 artists at a time that he coaches in the inner circle. So um, there's that. And one thing that would be really cool is if I'm in that inner circle with one of you guys, we can literally tag team in learning and make everything go that much faster and accelerate things. So um I think those are the main ones, so I'm super excited. So if you want to talk to me about Rick Pino or Adam Carpenter, um, about Rick and Adam's inner circle, let me know. We'll stay in touch on that because, again, I can tag team and help accelerate your learning through that because I've already been in it for a couple months. And, and same with Manifest, Chris Greenwood's inner circle. Let me know. Um, but that is information that is not generally out there. Um, Rick and Adam haven't announced that to anyone outside of the inner circle. I have the exclusive permission to be able to share that with you guys. And um, and then I don't think a lot of people are really realizing that Chris has this 10 extra fan base free challenge coming up. And again, like I said, VIP. And if he opens up his inner circle, jump, jump, jump. That's the best that I can tell you right now. Um, if you haven't already, my Facebook page is about to have a whole bunch of deleting going on. It is going to be stripped bare. There's not even probably going to be my picture on it. What we're going to do is we're switching everything over to the Coley D page. So if you haven't found my Coley D page, I'll be putting tons of stuff on there. Like I have so much going on right now that is just going to like bless your socks off. So go in there, get in there, um, stay connected. Music Monday, if you have a song that is coming out, let me know as soon as you can. Um, we'll make sure we get it posted for Music Monday. Um, I have periodically, I'm going to be doing these messages, but I have a lot of people that want interviews or I've lined up for interviews already. If you would like an interview, though, completely feel free to reach out to me. I would love to boost the people in this group, just lift you guys up and just encourage you. Um, and then if you haven't subscribed to the Crazy Blessed Worship YouTube channel, please do. I have just a couple more subscribers and I can do something really cool for you guys with that channel. And then I have a new page I've been slowly working on, Coley D Music on YouTube right now. Go subscribe. I'm going to be dumping stuff in there, you guys, and it's going to be awesome. So I'm wishing you guys all a crazy 
blessed week, and I look forward to catching up with you guys soon.